All right, so it's just now six o'clock. Come on in and join me. You guys know me, Terry Ann Hyman here. Come on in and join me in the Zoom call. We're gonna be talking about spiritual leadership, Reiki 3, what I see going on, why we need this, the details of the program, the money, the investment, and questions if you have any. So come on in and join me. I know this is kind of a busy time, so I won't take up too much of your time. And even if you're watching this on replay, thanks again for taking the time, taking the time to go through this. This has become a very big, important project for me, kind of on a rant to get spiritual leadership out there. Come on in, Laurie. Welcome. I see a big orange light that definitely represents Laurie. Hello. Yeah, come on in. Just getting organized here. Oof. There we go. Getting organized here. I'm going to mute people as they come in, but I will unmute you when we get to the question. So, Lori, thanks for joining me. And anybody else as you come in, you can say hello. I'll stop and start again. Doesn't matter. Kind of an informal group here, really wanting to open up and really talk about this. I am on a rant. I really am about spiritual leadership and what we need right now with all that's going on. So what we're going to do on this call tonight is we're going to, like I said, we're going to go over what's going on, what I'm seeing, why we need this, what the program is about, what the investment is, what the money is, and then any questions that you may have as well. So let's just take a moment before we get started, even if you're watching this on the replay, and let's just ground our energy, full moon coming around, right? So just take a moment, take a deep breath, focusing in on the energy, grounding yourself, taking a nice deep inhale, and exhale, sending all that running around from today, sending it down deep into the earth, maybe even some of that extra emotional energy. I know I did a big clearing, I had an energy session myself today, always needed, always welcomed. And let's just bring our energies together, taking a nice deep inhale and exhale. Send that breath all the way down deep into the earth and just bring yourself into the present time, centering the spiritual energy with the physical energy, aligning the bodies together, taking a nice deep inhale and exhale and just send that breath all the way down deep into the earth feel yourself centering inhaling and exhaling one more inhaling and exhale Just opening the heart, dropping the ego, allowing yourself to be really present, coming back, rounding the feet. Good. All right, a little fire going on in my sage bowl. So here we are. We're at a time in humanity where this year has been more depression, more opiate and heroin addictions, more people unhappy and stressed out, struggling, not doing what they want to do, and just really being all over the place. I was just talking to Greg today, my energy teacher. He was saying the same thing, seeing so much of this going on. We really do have a problem out there. And the thing is, is that the usual treatments is not working anymore, right? The medicines, the drugs, the opiates, all of that stuff is not working. And people are starting to see that. So I've been in Birmingham now, going on my six, six year, six years, six, <laughs> going on six years. And I have seen a lot of shifts and differences from people like peering outside my door to actually coming in and asking for help. 
because they're seeing that the ways aren't working anymore. They don't want to be addicted to medicines. They don't want to be doing things that they don't want to do in jobs that aren't happy. So they're looking for other ways and other means. And this is what I've been seeing. This last year, my work has grown amazing, really has by just being more vocal and being out there and really teaching people about spirituality, tools and techniques that they can use. And many of you guys know this. You're my students. You know this. You've been working with it yourself. And you see the differences that are created in your own life. This is what I'm seeing out there too. There's a huge population of people that fit in that spiritual but not religious. I've done some research on it. It's one of the fastest growing populations out there. And there are those people, they're out there, they're searching. Some of them are hanging out at the yoga studios. Some of them are, don't know what to do and they're kind of picking up skills and tools along the way, online classes, things like that. Some of them may have a private guru, so to speak, that they're following. But for the most part, this population is really unguided. They need help and they're looking for it and searching for it. This is what I have been recognizing. And maybe you have too. Maybe you've been talking about some of your Reiki skills that you've been learning and you've been hearing more and more people like, oh, let me try that. Or what is that about? Instead of like looking at you like woo woo, right? I know I have seen that. I've seen a big difference in people's responses and people's reactions. And I've seen a big difference in you guys as well. You guys are now stepping up to the plate. You're using these skills. You're noticing a difference. And I think like me, you're wanting to get out there more too. I know that I have recommitted myself to a vow that I took back at 9-11, even now, and maybe that's because of Trump. <laughs> maybe that's because our political situation is just falling apart and so much is going on around that. But yes, there's been a surge for me to step up and to help support this movement, the spiritual leadership movement, to get out there. I mean, we talk about women's leadership, right? But what about the spiritual leaders? What about that? We need this. We really do. And this population is growing and I am recognizing that myself. So that's one of the things that I'm seeing out there. So now why do we need this kind of program? All right, let's talk about that a little bit. For the most part, what I'm seeing is that people are collecting modalities, right? Maybe you've got Reiki 1 and Reiki 2, and maybe you've also got massage therapy, and like Laurie, you've got the astrology, and some people already have yoga training, and they have all of these things, like crystal healing, and they've started to gather all these things, but the problem is, is that they don't know what to do, right? You don't know how to charge, you don't know how to get clients, you're kind of stuck, so that's one of the problems that I'm seeing. Or you're not charging and you're giving it away. That's another big problem too. And that leads to burnout. That leads to a really big imbalance in energy when we're just doing it that way. It makes us running around. The other thing I've noticed too is that for some that are, are for some of you guys that are already getting clients, you're working on that dollar per hour scale. That's a very old model. All right. Most of the people around are working on that. And that is also causing a lot of running around, a lot of anxiety. How many clients do you have to get? A lot of just really spinning the wheels and getting nowhere. That's kind of what I've been noticing as well. And I know when I shifted my model, everything shifted. And that's also too what this program is going to be about is helping you to get out of that dollar for hour model and look at what the transformation is. How is it you're helping people? All right. The other thing I've noticed too is that now people have a list. Do you want a massage or do you want a Reiki treatment or would you like an essential oil treatment or would you like a crystal treatment? So we have all these different modalities, makes it really confusing for the person coming in. That's also another problem I'm having too, I'm seeing too. What if you were to combine it all, right? What if you were to bring all these together and again, we work towards a transformation? Because if we do this hour per hour or this line per treatment type of thing, again, we're just going to spin our wheels and get burnt out all over the place. I know this. I have done this myself for many years. I didn't have the guidance or the tools to figure out how to do it until recently. In these last three years, when I've started to change my model, everything has shifted for me. All right, a combination of that mostly, I think, but also to this population that I'm talking about. I think they've even given it that acronym, SPNR. The SPNRs, right? That's how popular it's starting to be. But when we work on this dollar for hour routine and we work on this, you know, one service at a time, it really makes us scattered. It makes us all over the place. And again, it can create burnout, right? Now, part of it is lack of confidence, not sure what you're doing, and also to the training. I know that was what it was for me. I just didn't have the training. We use the modalities and then go, go do it. But that doesn't really necessarily work. 
And that's where I come in with a lot of experience that I've had. I know what it feels like. Yeah, I know. I've been there charging 60 bucks for treatment and then spending two hours because you want to make sure it's perfect and they get everything. And then you're tired at the end of the day because you really only saw two clients and made $120. Can't work it that way. We really can't. When we start to work on transformation, what's the pain? What's the problem? Is it anxiety? Is it stress? Is it being lost? Is it not knowing direction? Right? These are the things that then can really shift and make a difference when we start to look at what the transformation is. All right? Stress is a huge problem. But let me tell you, after all the work I've been doing in my business groups, people don't want to pay for, for help on stress. They think that they... They think that they'll just deal with it, but stress is really a big problem. So sometimes we have to go about it in other ways to get to that so that they can see that this is a big problem. This is affecting their lives greatly. So those are some of the things that I'm seeing in terms of the old way of working and how it's just not working. I know for myself that it's made a big, huge shift in difference. So that is kind of what I'm seeing out there. All right, not knowing how to charge, not knowing how to get paid, not knowing how to put your services together, working on that dollar per hour model, and then the burnout sets in, and then the struggle sets in, and then you're living in that lack and starving modality uh, mentality, right? I have been there. I'll be honest, I have been. It really is very hard to live that way. And the other thing I'm seeing too is that we're out there. I can serve everybody. I know that one. I thought I could too, but also that keeps me scattered and able to focus in the work that I'm doing. So all of those points, all of those things is what we are going to address in this whole next year of this program. Yeah. And I think many of you can relate to this as well, whether you're afraid to charge, afraid to get out there, afraid to step up with that self-worth. All right, that's wealth consciousness. And that's a big part of what this program is going to be working on too, is really upping that wealth consciousness and that vibration, really getting into looking at what is your self-worth and how does that play out in the services that you offer? Really important. We don't need to be starving artists. We don't need to be starving spiritual people. All right. I know I put an email out about that and it got a little flack about it. What do you mean you're spiritual and you're going to charge? Like, yeah, I do mean that. Yeah, this work is really important. It's important to get out there. If I can't serve, if I can't charge for my work, I can't serve. The work isn't going to come forward. It's not. So we have to make this important priority for people and we have to be able to stand upon it and charge for our services and the work that we do. So all of this is really what I've been spending a while on. I'll be honest, it's been something that's brewing in my consciousness for many years, since like 2012, if you really want to know the truth. And it wasn't um, until now that the program is coming together that I feel strong in doing it and that I feel the universe is ready for the program to come forward. So the program is the spiritual leadership, which also includes Reiki master training, all right? It includes the whole entire level, but it's more than just that. It's also including the spiritual counseling. It's also including ceremonies and how we can go about celebrating our spirit. It's also including life and death, right? Very important. I just was part of a helping someone on Monday with, with helping their family and preparing the body and that whole soul energy that comes forward. And we don't have enough of that in Birmingham. I know for sure we really don't. A green ceremony, how to prepare. People would just let the let the ride out right? you know, would let the funeral home take care of it. But there's so much more to that. And that's part of this program too. Those are part of the things we're going to be working with. Building our modalities, building the consciousness, building our awareness of how to serve. So the program will start, um, actually it'll start in December. If you join now, it'll start in December. But for the most part, it'll start in January up at Gorham's Bluff, a beautiful retreat up um, like two hours north of here. It's going to be a weekend, Friday evening, and we're going to start off with that whole idea of Reiki Master training. What is a leader? What is Reiki Mastery about? So we're going to have a great weekend. We're going to do yoga. We're going to have some good food. We've got a fire circle going on. We have nice cottages and nice rooms with fireplaces for everybody to stay. We'll do the Reiki Master first part of the training. We'll do some visioning, right, because it's the beginning of the year, and that's what we do in winter. We vision. And then we're going to really all join together and create this fellowship for this group. So that's the kickoff for January. The program's going to meet the second weekend of every month in person. All right. So in February, after that first retreat, we're going to come back and we're going to start practicing. Practice, practice, practice. So you'll have the group to practice on each other. You're going to have the group to be able to practice treatment sessions, talk about what you're doing. We're going to start figuring out all those things that really relate to your program, to your focus, 
and what it is that you want to do. And we have a diverse group, right, of those that have expressed interest. We really do. So we're going to be able to really hone in on that from the get-go. You guys know me. You know I'm going to be pushing you to get your first client, second client, third client, right at the start. When we get up to that Reiki 3 level, we're going to learn about forms and how to, how to, how to get your clients in there and how to charge right from the get-go. We're going to be doing that because I want you to be able to return this investment because it is an investment for you. So that's what we'll do in February. We're also going to be looking at what does it mean to help? Ram Dass's work. How can I help? What does that mean? So we're going to be looking at that in February. All right. So as we're gaining our skills and focusing in on who it is we're serving and why it is we're serving, we're going to take this all to the next level. Then we're going to talk about in March, we're going to come back and talk about creating our own toolbox. All right. So that's going to be a little bit diverse for everybody. Like Laurie, for you, you're going to be talking about all your astrology work that you could do. Also, you do jewelry. How can you bring that in? Right. What are the stones connected? You do Reiki. How does that come in? How do the oracles come in? So you have a whole area that you can focus in and get really specific that's going to help you to really become that expert in that field. And that's what we're going to do for each of you. You're going to find your gifts and how you can pull it all together. And that's how you create your toolbox that you're going to help others with. We're going to look at what's the pain that you're helping people with and what's the transformation. All right. Then we're going to start into some of the ceremonies. In April, we're going to start in, we'll probably be at the medicine wheel. We're going to start in with the ceremonies, fire circles, solstices, equinoxes, all of those kind of ceremonies that we do with the earth. It'll be time for the spring to open up. We'll go out to the medicine wheel and you'll have a part in pulling those ceremonies together and writing your own. Yes, you'll be writing your own ceremonies as well. Then May, we're going to move into a little bit more of the addictions, the depression, listening. It's very important. We're going to be talking about what happens when that spirit disappears and how spirituality is really important for those that are suffering with these kind of addictions. So that's a very important aspect of this too. Some spiritual counseling will come forward as well. And then June, we're going to be talking about transitions in life. We're going to spend a whole month on death and dying. Very important to me. I have a lot of experience and knowledge to share with you. I'm also hoping Lama Gerson, Rinpoche Lama, is going to be coming in for this. He said he is. So we may have to flip a month. It may be May. It may be June. This is also why I need that commitment to make sure we've got people here in this group. But he's going to come in and teach us about the Tibetan way of dying. The Tibetan Po, they call it and how they work with this as well. He's a beautiful teacher, has so much to offer. So that'll be in through June. And again, you'll be writing ceremonies for that as well. We'll also look at birth, marriages, blessing ways, house blessings, very much fun too. And we'll be writing ceremonies for that as well. In July, we're gonna take a break. However, it's not really a break because you're gonna be having practicum hours due, ceremonies due, all of these writings that you're gonna be doing. And this is gonna offer you that opportunity to catch up. All right, we may have one or two calls just depending on where everybody is, but I'm going to kind of give you guys a break and use the time to catch up. As Yogi Bhajan says, kept up and you will be kept up. Keep up and you will be kept up. Right. Then in August, we go back to the retreat, and this is the master teacher level. Very important. This is where we start to learn how to pass the attunements. All right, you're going to have a better idea of where you are with clients at this point. You're also going to be learning how to put your classes together, all right, in another retreat, a different season up there. It's going to be beautiful up there then, too. And then we come back into September, and we're going to really talk about money, 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 right, the spirit of money. And I'm actually going to do a really beautiful Akashic Record um, series where we're going to look at how you receive money. We're going to look at what your debt to money is and how you can shift it around and build that money for you. Very important. I've made some huge changes just by doing this work myself. Very important. We're going to look at what that situation is for you. How do you relate to money? And again, it goes back to wealth consciousness. Then we're also going to get into building that foundation for your business. How do you start a business? How do you bring it up? How do you choose LLC? All of that kind of stuff. I'm in co-starters right now, learning lots of information on that too that I'll be sharing with you as well. Then in October, we're building, right? We're building, we're building, we're building. And then we're going to talk about branding your system. What is your signature system? Like mine is the Empowered Spirit program. What is yours? I'm going to help you pull that together, all right? Very important because we're building all this energy up, all right? And then we have to do the finals. We have to do all that stuff to get the certification, right? The finals, practicum hours, community projects all related to your work, and then we'll have the graduation. So throughout the year, every second, we, every second weekend, 
of the month. Then we're gonna have Zoom calls like this on Tuesday evenings, all right, for you to catch up, ask questions. They're not mandatory, but they'll be available to you. Any kind of questions that you have, we'll have a meditation during that time and we'll just pull our energies together. We'll have practice time as well. You can buddy up, work on each other. Very important that we do that. There'll be um, audios, meditations. We're gonna record as much as we can. Lots of ceremonies that you're gonna have to write. And all of it is gonna be working on yourself as well. Whenever we meditate and work with energy, we're also working on ourselves. So a very good opportunity for you to grow in your own spiritual development as well. We're gonna really be focusing on the commitment to meditation, to your practice, to making sure that you're building a practice. Very important when you go out to help others. Really very, very important. We do have another guest coming in in February, a teacher. Um, it won't be the same weekend because it's an additional work that we'll be doing. I think it's the first weekend of February. Monique Clark, she's from California. She's going to be doing an Aroma Touch training for us as well. So that's another project that we have. And then there'll be some other teachings along the way. I'll probably bring my Oracle class back out and invite you guys to that as well. So that's the gist of the program. It's a lot. It is. I admit it is, but it is so doable. And you're going to feel such a difference in the growth of your own spirit as you move through this program. So what's the money? That's always the big question. That's always the hard part, the commitment, right? It is a commitment. It is definitely a commitment in time as well. And that's really important, which is really why I'm kind of asking for this deposit right now. We're asking you to commit now. So you can mark out your calendar, go through and put the classes in. You can commit to the payments. You can commit to doing this work. This isn't something to just to sign up last minute. This is a bigger, bigger commitment than that. So I am asking you to look at your calendars, look at your work and see how this can fit in. You'll definitely won't be disappointed. The work is very great. I know when I went through the sanctuary in New York, it was such a great part. I looked forward to that weekend every time it came around, no matter what was going on in my life. And let me tell you, there was a lot. I was newly divorced and two small children. But I put that commitment in, and I'm really glad I did. I really am. So the commitment that I'm asking for you to do is a deposit of $750. That's due now. Although I'm giving you a bonus, if you sign up right away, you can split it into two payments, all right? And then the payments of $5.97 for 11 months, starting in February. So you're going to even get that January off just to kind of catch up with everything. So that's kind of how I've set up the payment system. And that's how I feel like it's really doable for everybody. You can get one or two clients a month, maybe one client a week or something like that to help you cover these costs, dedicate it to that. Nothing like setting a goal to push you to do it. And that how is you, you can get that return on what it is that you're investing into it. I've also got a couple extra bonuses, all right? If you go ahead and sign up and you already have had people sign up, you're going to get these books right off the bat. Because in December, which is our first bonus, we're going to be doing a review of Reiki 1 and Reiki 2. We're going to be using Penelope Quest book, Reiki for Life. Great information, all right? That's awesome. You're going to get this book, and you're also going to get these two books, The Universe Has Your Back and White Hot Truth. These books we're going to use to help us as information and motivation for opening and closings of the classes, which you guys will be doing. You're going to come in and open the meditation, open the group. Great inspiration. Really good. I don't know how many of you guys know Gabby Bernstein, but she's awesome. So if I open this book right here, Universal Lesson, huh. you must be willing to shed old patterns and create a new way of being. So we'll open the book, you'll take a lesson, and then you will lead an opening from that. So we'll have lots of opportunity for you to get in front of a group and practice. So this is one of the bonuses you're gonna get. I want you to go ahead and get the books. I'm gonna send them right to you, all right? Sam was the first to join. She's already gotten the card. She got these, all right? But the books are gonna still be for everybody else. Then you're also going to get December. I've got three dates in December set aside. Zoom calls the 5th, the 19th, 7 o'clock on a Tuesday night. And then on the 30th, we're going to set an early evening hour. It's the closing of the year. So we're going to bring all of this together. A really great way to end the year and set intentions for the new year. And then the other thing I'm offering in November, I'm going to do an Akashic reading teaching. 
and I'm going to help you guide you through soul purpose to connect to life purpose. Soul purpose, we go back in time. Life purpose, we kind of go forward. And we're going to see how we can align these as I guide you through that. So that will be in November. And then the last bonus, yay, we're going to offer, I'm giving you three 40-minute spirit focus sections which you can use throughout the year. You can bank these for when you feel lost or distracted or you don't know what you're doing and you want a private time with me. Three sessions with me, all right? That's gonna be something that you can bank throughout the year for you to be able to use whenever you want, all right? So I am definitely committed. I'm committed to this program and I'm committed to helping you get started. So if you are really ready for this and you wanna jump into getting this going, then go ahead and sign up. Come on over and sign up and get the ability to, I'm gonna put some links in here, get the ability to pay that off, right? To split that 750 into two payments and then the other payments don't start into the beginning of the year, all right? So there's that link, I've just put it in the chat room. And then the other one is, let's talk a minute if you just want to do the Reiki 3 Master Practitioner, all right? So in the past, I have been teaching that way. And although I still think it's a good way to teach, I have changed my views on it because I haven't seen anybody step up to leadership. And I feel like maybe it's because I'm not pushing it and I'm not providing that for you guys, all right? Since I've been in Birmingham, I've only taught one Reiki Master teacher. And that was when I first came here, Lori Knight, all right? I've taught many in the practitioner level but I think it's time to step up to the plate. I can't serve everybody, guys. I can't do it. I thought I could, I can't. And so I wanna help you do this as well. If you just want the Reiki 3, and I know I offered it starting in January with my first Reiki 2 classes and all of that and telling people, usually I teach it the first Friday of the month. This year it is changing to a weekend and this year probably is the only year I'm gonna do this, allow you to take it this last time just at the first level just at that practitioner level. And that's gonna be up at Gorham's Bluff, all right? It's a full weekend, it's not a one day, all right? So the cost of that is 750, and you can break that into two payments as well. There's a link for that too. So if this is what you want, this will be the last time that you can join in and do that because from going forward from now on, my teachings will be a full, full year for the master training. Now, all you guys are gonna be learning to train, so you'll have the opportunity then to jump in for the Reiki 3 and choose how you wanna do it. I changed, you know, I think I put this on the um, group a while ago, last week or something, two weeks ago. I originally followed in with the sanctuary. When we were teaching um, at the hospitals and stuff in early 2000, we were just seeing that the need for the hospital work, especially in the nurses, the Reiki 3 practitioner level was serving what they needed. They didn't want to be teachers. And that's kind of where the sanctuary chose. And so I kind of carried that through. But my work has grown. I have grown. I can stand to stand up for this and hold this space for you guys, and I've decided to change that and offer in the intuition and the spiritual counseling and the ceremonies and all of this to really put a complete package, a year of training together. I think it's really important right now. As I said at the beginning, this is exactly what's needed at this time. So if you want to just do it this year only and come to the retreat with us, you'll be at the retreat with us but others will go on. You'll be there for the weekend. You can do that as well. And that's the second link right there. So if you have any questions, raise your hand, let me know. I'd love to hear what questions you might have, how I can help you through this. Let me know if you have any questions at all. You can post in the chat or you can just come on and talk to me. I'm friendly. Anything <laughs> at all. Hey, Terry. Hey, Laurie. How are you? I'm good. Sorry, my dog's barking because somebody's walking by. It's okay. So what if, um, I mean, you know, you can schedule the weekends all ahead of time, but what if life happens and you can't make a weekend? So if life happens and you can't make a weekend, I am going to record the content. All right. Okay. I can't say I'm going to record every single interaction that we have. And it's going to be fun each week because you're going to be doing openings and closings and people are going to get to practice and all. But I will have the lesson content and it'll be up to you to download it, read through it. And then, you know, you still have the assignments. You're still going to have to write your ceremonies. You're still going to have to get practice hours in there. But I'm okay. hoping that by, by committing, you can go ahead and mark it out in your calendars and stuff. But I do understand that. I know that something happens and things come up. Yeah, well, I have, like, yeah, I have two, you know, I have two kids, so, you know, you never know what happens. Right. 
Yeah, I do understand that. So the lessons will be recorded to the best of my ability and all the resources. Again, it's on Teachery and the, I'll start filling in all the lessons as we go through and then you can go back and do that. And then, the, um, of course, the office hours. So if you don't make the weekend, you can come into the office hours. Not that that office hour is going to be a complete review of what you missed, but you can ask questions. Okay. So you will have that ability as well. Okay. And what, how many practicum hours are going to be required? Um, you know what? I have to go back to my notes for that. I have it figured out elsewhere. I can get back to you on that. I don't have it right in front of me. Sorry. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Yeah. But I'll make a note to get that to you. It's in my Reiki uh, master training book. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's so many every month you have to practice on yourself and then you have to get others that you practice on. And then, like I said, I'm going to really be pushing to, um, to get people, you know, for you to get clients, to get out there and get clients. I think that's really important. And that's part of what we're going to be doing. Right. So is that clients for Reiki or is that clients for like, for me, for astrology or both? Well, I think it's going to be both, but I think what I'm going to be helping people do is like kind of what I talked about in the beginning, not having that list, how you can package all of that together. When gotcha. you can do the Empowered Spirit Program, just imagine if you can do that for somebody else, right? Yeah. Yeah. So there's so much that you do, Laurie. There's so much between the jewelry and the readings and the astrology, but yeah, and how you can do that. So you're not charging, you know, per hour type thing. I'm not exactly sure how you're charging now, but we're going to look at that and how you can really work at that. Or maybe it's like creating like four times a year readings or, you know, or something like that or birth, you know what I mean? But putting right. it all together so that you really can help people through that transformation. When we work right. with transformation, it's, it's priceless, right? No, yeah. you're right. And I've already had, I have one client in Canada and she's already asked me, can, you know, can I do a monthly sort of retainer? You, you know, and what did you say? And what did you charge her? I'm just teasing. You don't have to answer those questions, but this is exactly we're exploring. What we're, we're exploring. Uh, we, okay. we haven't come to a conclusion. We're just exploring it right now. <laughs> okay. But that's really important that we open up and that you figure that out. And I will tell you, that is what has changed everything with my work. Not only is it changed in terms of how I'm working, but the, just what I'm seeing with people and how much I can spend with people in terms of their time and really help them to focus versus they come in, they go out, they come in, they go out. And, you know, I want to do that. And I was doing it anyway, but I was getting burnt out because I just, you know, it just wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't working that way. Right. And I think you're right. I think people are out there and they're hungry. So they want a continual thread. They want, um, I don't even know if that's the right way to put it, but you know, they want that continual guidance or, you know, like what's coming up this month and how, you know, how is the cosmos affecting me this month, next month, you know, how is all of that going to play out in my life? And in astrology, we have, you know, overarching sort of themes, but then it becomes very personal based on your own chart and based on how it will affect you. Right. Yeah. So as you gather these skills, I mean, this is how we build your program, how you focus in on what you're doing. And this is, this is it. So yeah, I'm going to be pushing you to really open that up. And we're going to start in the beginning. Actually, I didn't mention in December for the review part of Reiki 1 and Reiki 2, um, I'm actually going to be including webinars with Phyllis Furumoto. And one of them is the business of Reiki and what she says. And one of them is the lineage of Reiki too. So those are things that we're going to get to get in there as well. Because, yes, yeah, she talks about it, too. You can make a lifestyle. I have a few things that I look at a little differently, but you can. I'm not talking about a mansion, lifestyle, and swimming pool. You don't have to work. But you can have a lifestyle doing this kind of work that feels really good, that you're serving and living your purpose and making money as well. And that's what we're really going to start focusing right from the get-go, really looking at this. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. What other questions? That's all I had, I think. Yeah. The retreats are pretty important. And I think if you can't make the retreats, we got to work on that because that's the attunements. So the, the retreats are January and June? August. August. Okay. Yeah. And it's the second weekend? Yes. Yeah, yeah. That, that, is, that might be a challenge because that's like college move-in weekend. The second week of August? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that one is not in stone yet with the retreat center. That one we could move around like it may, like our schedule may change. When I hear from Lama Gerson, he's in India right now. 
but he usually is in the States in May. So things may change around a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So that, if that, you know, we can, depending on the group, we can look at that. We have time on that one, but the second week in January is pretty much set. Oh yeah. That's, uh, I don't think that's a problem. I don't know that that's moving for winter semester, but I'll have to look at the calendar. Yeah. Well, look and check it out and then let me know the August one too. But, you know, it's kind of looking at the schedule. I just figured July was a good time to let everybody catch up because when we start with the Reiki training, we kind of move forward, right? So I kind of wanted everybody to catch up at that right. point. Take a breather, catch up, get your work done so you're not waiting to the very end to get it all in. Yeah, and I think that's smart. I yeah. think that's really smart because like we said, life happens. So, yeah. you know, if I mean, one we could weekend... move it to like um, the end of August or something, you know, that, that, that again, like I said, is not set in stone, but the, the January one is. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll look at the calendar because it's out there. Yeah. Good. Definitely. Yeah. Well, I think you're a great fit for the program, Laurie. I really do. I know. <laughs> You got this woman. I know you can. And you know me, I'm going to be pushing and really helping everybody. And, you know, I mean, you know, you know, my other project is really helping to really wanting to expand. And that's still out there too, that I'll be working on and have a place for all of us. I think that would be just awesome. I really do. No, I totally agree. Yeah. So that one's a bigger one, but I am slowly by surely. And that, that feels good to me. Like I'm, it's a vision. I see it. And you know, you saw it and Sam saw it. I had a couple people tell me that they had dreams about it. So yeah, I'm just following it and we'll see what happens with that. Definitely. Yeah. yeah there, there's a lot of energy right now, just in the world overall with Jupiter and Scorpio. So it's really a good time to kind of look at your spirituality and a lot of other things. So yeah. You know, I just read uh, Dr. Teja, who is a Vedic astrology I work with. He just posted on Facebook and he was saying right now is a lot of times for like having fun and getting out there and you can indulge, be careful. But he did say that it was a good time for big investments. He said yes. that was a good time. He really did that. It would pay off really well. I'm like, yay, definitely. Cause well, that's, I, you know, this is an investment, but I do feel like I've broken it down to make it affordable. Yeah, I, I think so. And it's also, I mean, some of the aspects in astrology are also very um, positive for healing, the healing arts, learning the healing arts, being part of the healing arts. There's a, tr there is a trine between um, Jupiter and Neptune. I won't go into the whole thing, but anyway, it's, yeah, it's. All right, guys, if you're listening to this later, Laurie just told us, plus Laurie, come on in the group. She'll be with us so we can <laughs> all the time. Right. But I agree, Laurie, everything is just a line for me to do this too. And like I said, I have been thinking, envisioning this and really working on it for since 2012. And I almost gave up and then I got help. I got the business skills I needed and I am willing to teach you guys what I know. And I'm in co-starters too right now. So all of this business stuff is going to carry right through for you guys. I want to share and I want to help. I want us all to build this for Birmingham. I do. I want this spiritual leadership to come forward. I really do. Yeah. And for the world and for the world. Yeah. Not just bringing I mean, you turn on the channel and you know, the full moon's coming and you turn on the channel and you see all the bombings and the shootings and that's all that energy yeah. blowing up and just in the wrong way. Yeah. You know, and we need some guidance to kind of shift that over yeah. to, you know, manifesting that in a very positive way. So, yeah, I agree. I agree. So the way that the um, deposits and all are set up is, is definitely requiring that you sign up by Sunday to get the payments the way it is. I really want to help everybody, but time is working with us as well in order to spread it out. If we wait too long, I can't offer it that way. So that's one of the commitments that I'm asking for now. And then you get the bonuses as well. Some good bonuses. Definitely. And so Terry, one question, when are the payments due every month? Um, I'd like to say the first of the month. Okay. Yeah. So the first one would be due then right at the beginning of February. And what you'll do is you'll send in the deposit and I'm going to send around, turn around and send in, you know, a contract like, you know, me, I do. And then those will be entered in right at the beginning of February. And then it'll just be automatic each month through the teacher site. Okay. Yeah. And then when you sign up now, you're going to just go into the Reiki three. And then those that are going forward will then get re-signed into the other ones. Because like I said, I'm doing that little interim those for those that studied at the beginning of the year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 
Any other questions? That's all I had. I don't know if anybody else has anything. All right. Well, thank you, Laurie. I appreciate that. Definitely. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to send this out and the links are there. Everything is on the website. You can take a look. You can go to spiritual-development-academy.com and it'll bring you there as well. There is a, a form you can fill out and then there is that deposit button as well. Definitely. So let's just take a moment, close the energy. Take a nice deep inhale. And just exhale out. And just for a moment, imagine, visualize yourself helping the world right now. Visualize you being a part of raising the vibration for all humanity. Serving, helping, working with those that are also seeking. See yourself standing strong and doing this work. You can do this. Inhaling and exhaling. If not you, who will do it? All right. Coming back, feel your feet on the floor. Let me know if anybody has questions. I'll be making phone calls. All right. Thanks again for joining me. Thank you. Thank you for your questions. Y'all have a good week. Enjoy that full moon coming. Good weekend to your spirit. Namaste.